Hello, my dear students. I hope you all are fit, fine, and healthy at your home. So, as you can see in the screen today, I'm going to explain you the last chapter of your moral science book. And it is very interesting lesson that I'm going to deliver to you. And the title is be inspired and motivated. So here we will understand about one of the great personality. And here you can see the name P. Gopi Chand, the one who clicks with success. So our surroundings is full of such stories. And with the help of those, we make ourselves motivated or we inspired. So here, let's start what the chapter is about. So one often thinks which way to make a great leader. Let's read the story of Pallela Gopichan and known for herself Gopi as he is fondly called is doubly blazed with virtues. So here we will study, we will understand life of Gopichan, who is often known or fondly called Gopi. So one, on one hand, he possesses certain virtues that have helped him in his journey as an ace badminton player and the national and international level and second, he has the art of giving which makes him share his virtues as a badminton coach to give the country more and more badminton players after his retirement. So, Gopi Chand or the Gopi was a great player of badminton and after his retirement he has given number of badminton players. Okay. He lead our country in the national and international level. And the next is where to as the badminton coach to give the country more and more badminton players after his retirement. So let's glance at his regime to see for ourselves what makes him click with success as a player and now as a coach. Virtues that grace his champion who now grooms champions are as under. So here we will study how Gopi Chan became a great player and after him he is making or he grooms number of players or number of champions in India. So here, what are those? A systematic approach. This is very important if you are going to achieve something. So there must be a systematic approach. A strict adherence to the rules. Okay. This is very important task that we must follow or we must adhere all the rules. Eating right. Okay. It means you must take the balanced diet. You should decide or there should be a, the chart that what kinds of things you have to eat and what kinds of things you have to avoid. Then the most important thing that is being disciplined. Discipline is 
the rule of success in every field and the fitness and tough training session with inspiration and optimistic approach it is very important that we must be optimistic hame hamesha aashavadi hona chahiye optimistic hona chahiye positive attitude hona chahiye positive approach hona chahiye har ek cheez ki taraf next one is organizational skills and time management with the help of which he divides his time between different players for their individual training rising early at 4:15 am and working hard till 8:30 pm allotting a certain time of the day to teach diligently all the players individually for the senior ones and in batches for the younger ones sincerity of purpose that makes him a hard task master on the court and the last not the least being an inspirational force that makes him a good friend of the court so these are the rules or these are the way to us we can say which gopi followed while providing training and the here here some more are he practices this moderate moderation and teaches his student to keep the game away from emotions happiness and euphoria in the academy or after tournaments is followed by hard work okay he always tell his students that emotion must be kept away happiness and euphoria at the academic academy or after tournaments is followed by hard work isn't it all the all the, the achievements can be received or can be obtained by your hard work then the next one planning for the brighter future by giving his 100% in the present gopi has already opened a branch in rajasthan so as here we have discussed all the way to that gopi followed or he follows while teaching to his students in gopi we see that one man who has become the driving force behind badminton as a sport in india by single handedly making badminton popular in india first as a player and now as a coach so we find we found find here a great enthusiasm of badminton and he made this game popular in india first when he was a player and now the coach so here gopi the great badminton player so gopi won five national championships between 1996 and 2000 winning two gold medals at the national games of 1998 his international career had also started in 1991 when he saw sorry when he was chosen to represent the indian team against malaysia okay i hope you have understood he won two gold medals at the sark badminton championship later he won medal at the commonwealth games in 
and also won other tournaments like Chalusi Open, Scottish Open, and Asian Satellite Open. Okay, so हम इनके achievements गिनते गिनते थक जाएंगे. But achievements will never fade away. ठीक है. His crowning glory came in 2001 when he became just the second Indian after Prakash Padukone to win the prestigious All England Championship. And now the next, many top hours followed as he was bestowed with Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna in 2001 and the Padma Shri Award in 2005. So here we can see or we can observe, we can understand that what kinds of honored or he was he was bestowed with he was bestowed with Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Puraskar or award in 2001 and Padma Shri award in 2005. Perhaps his biggest achievement is that he has inspired a whole generation of youth take up badminton due to his achievements as a player. So my dear students, this was the first part of this video and in later part, I will explain you more about of Mr. Gopi Chand. That's all for today. Thank you. Goodbye. Stay safe and be in touch with your studies.